Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam yasha ala. Koholoi mila. Yehawa ba shim ya washai ba hashem ar kaha kudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. That by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. The water to all you aki and waf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yehawa ba shim ya washai to the best of their ability. Jachna and the waf just coming at you with another quick lesson praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. Um. This is an article in Law and Crime. It says Trump's fight to stay on 2024 election ballot threatens to turn Constitution's insurrection clause into historical historical ornament, experts say. Okay, it says former President Donald Trump speaks in the Clinton Township, Michigan, Wednesday, September 27th. It says more than two years after the rioters stormed the U.S. Capitol and the tradition of America's peaceful transfer of presidential power was broken. The question of whether the man at the center of that day, Donald Trump, should have his name on the ballot for the 2024 presidential race is looming larger than ever. In the days ahead, a tug of war over this historic legal question is, is poised to grow more intense. Over a dozen entities um, or individuals across the United States have filed lawsuits to strike Trump from the ballot by way of section 3 of the 14th amendment known simply as the constitution's insurrection clause but out of the many plaintiffs who have filed complaints two groups in two states appear to have the legal heft to go the distance and take the fight to the u.s supreme court citizens for responsibility and ethics in washington also known as crew for the acronym um the acronym c-r-e-w which has filed in Colorado and free speech for the people, which um, filed litigation in Minnesota. Trump's conduct on January 6th, such as his remarks from the ellipse, where he whipped supporters into a frenzy and regurgitating his, his by then months old and widely disproven message that the 2020 election was stolen due to fraud is just one aspect binding together these two respective bids to bump Trump from the ballot. The group points to Trump's alleged intimidation of state legislators, elections officials, and workers as well as pressure campaign on the then Vice President Mike Pence to overturn the results during the um, congressional session to certify President Joe Biden's electoral victory, despite having no legal authority to do so. The filings also note Trump's refusal to call off the rioters for a span of nearly three hours, as well as his solicitation solicitation on social media for supporters to attend a wild rally protesting the so-called rigged election and then there are trump's alleged schemes to subvert the election results something he is also criminally indicted for in both district columbia and georgia and how those efforts brought the congressional prece proceedings undergirding the transfer of power to a standstill for hours on january 6th Okay, so, I mean, you know, you get the point. They got this, uh, they, a couple of states. Well, it's more than these two states that's suing, but they're saying that two of them actually got the power to, you know, take it all the way to the Supreme Court. But what's going to happen is, you know, well, I can't say what's going to happen, but, you know, just me speaking as a man. And, you know, we're praying that this will cause, go ahead and cause that, you know, this civil war or this insurrection to go even further. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because what I mean, it's it's basically it's it's gonna be an all-out civil war soon, basically from this type of stuff. And this could be the spark. If Trump is not able to run for president, these so-called white people, man, that believe it, that he's still their president right now, they're gonna go nuts, man. And let me just grab a quick scripture on you know the separation in this place. This is how we know that um America is at, is at the brink of nothing, man. <laughs> the brink of nothing this place is falling and we applaud it we pray for these things Matthew 12 and 25 and Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts and said unto them every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand okay it says if Satan casts out Satan he is divided against himself how shall then his kingdom stand Cause see you, you know. I mean, uh, the so-called white race is is divided on so many levels, man. 
And there's so much stuff that's going on in the Americas. And not only the Americas, but the so-called white race is separated and divided in all countries that Edomites reside. You see? And they can't stand. That word desolation goes into destruction. So America is basically destroyed right now. It's just, you know, it, it, it's slowly, well, I can't even say slowly no more. It's, it's quickly being um, turned over, man. And that's all about the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Because it's time for their, their rule to be over with. You know, you can't, you can't, you know, can't take this no further, man. The Lord set boundaries for um, these people. And that boundary is just so happened to be coming up, man, real soon. <laughs> so, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you know, we, we do these lessons to let you know that you are the Hebrew Israelites. And the Lord is actually turning over this place on your behalf. Because he's coming to get the children of Israel out of their enemies' hands. And Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, they're enemies of ours. So while you're running out here, going to put your life on the line to try and go out here and vote for Joe Biden again, you might want to think twice because <laughs> it's not going to be what it was. Like, hey, this place is about, it's, it's, a, it's just ready to blow. It's ready to blow. Either I'm, I'm thinking either president, e either one of them that win, if Joe Biden were to win, of course, you know, it's going to be some bullshit in the air. If Trump were to win, I'm thinking that, that, that these Democrats on, on, the, on the other side, they, they ready to go crazy, too. But I, I can't. I'm thinking these Trump supporters, man, they 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 deep, man. And they <laughs> they they have a more. Serious, headstrong. Competition mind, I, I would say, for lack of better terms, when it comes to their country. See, they, they th those are those ones that can actually see their country being stolen. Those are the ones that actually have somewhat of some self-control. See, they, they don't believe in your, your alphabet shit. They don't believe in, you know, um, all the fun and games. They don't believe in the going out, wasting money. See, these, these are the types that'll wear the same shoes, the same pair of damn Levi's, you know, the same pair, you know, that same Hawaiian shirt. You know, he got like three, four T-shirts, a pair, two pairs of jeans, some boat shoes, but they, they live in a, in a gated community. <laughs> they got a suit, you know what I'm saying? That they'll, you know, keep clean. Two, maybe two suits, three suits, different colors. You know, a couple of ties. You know what I'm saying? Them white shirts. And and and, and, and that's that's them. They're not going out uh, splurging. You know, when they're when they're going on vacation, they're going on vacation to relax for real. They're not going and 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 and, and gotta have all the the things that generally the show off things. Especially the shit that you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans do. They, they, they're not into all that designer shit. But guess what? They got a bank account with millions in it. You know. 401k got stocks. You, you wouldn't even know that they even have anything. But those are the people that's really, you know, they love their country. They, you know, they love what was stolen. And they're willing to basically give up their lives for it to continue. Because they see it actually flying away from them, man. It, it, you know, the scripture talks about um, wealth flying away. But see, they don't get that. They don't understand that. They don't understand that, you know, um, um, living by, you know, uh, uh, your daily bread. You know, just getting daily, you're praying to Yahweh about Shemiah was shot for daily bread. They don't understand that. That's not them. You know, they, they, they love what they stole. And they've been running throughout the earth, stealing shit since they've come into power, man. Since the Renaissance. And now that it's ending, who wants power to be taken away from them? I mean, that's just that's just a thing, man. You know, don't nobody want power to be taken away from them. you. Don't want to lose. You know, no one wants to lose their girl, so to speak. You know, you got to look at it like that. They're, they're looking at it like, you know, they're they're losing their pretty young wife, man, with the with the with the big tits, man. You know. So Esau be looking at, you know, the blonde with the big tits, you know, if he doesn't want her leaving and going off with someone else. <laughs> but, that, but that's the illustration that's pretty much happening to America. This place is through. It's through. And there's no coming back, man. They're trying to make it. Well, you got one of them talking about making America great again. You got the other one talking about build back better. You got Bidenomics. And I don't know what the hell, man, anybody run out here and vote for that guy. Oh, my. I mean, you know, if I was in the vote, I most definitely wouldn't be doing no, no Biden, nothing. 
I wouldn't vote for Trump neither. But out of the two, I would have to run with Trump. <laughs> but but if that's the, the hope of America, this place is through, man. So I, I don't want to keep this long. I just wanted to touch on this for a hot second, man. Because this right here, oh, matter of fact, though, let me get that Matthew 24. Because it talks about wars, rumors, and wars. Let me start at verse 3. Matthew 24 and 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the, the, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Yahweh shall answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For, by, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, or we call him the Mashiach, the anointed one, and shall deceive many. I just seen a brother do an article on that. I think the guy was in the, Filipino, the Philippines. Some Filipino guy, something like that, supposedly had all these sex child sl slaves, you know, all in the name of sweet white baby Jesus. So you got it's people like that all over the world. OK, but it says and ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. So, I mean, you know, it's going off into wars as far as like, you know, these kingdoms. Which it goes on to say, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be um, famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All of these are the beginning of sorrows. So it's going off into nation, you know, against nation. But also it's kingdom against kingdom. You know, wars, rumors of wars is going to be a kingdom against kingdom. That's people on people. That's, you know, when the civil war first went down, that was so-called white people fighting against so-called white people. And, you know, just so happened Jake ended up getting involved, you know, with the North, so to speak, you know, because they were basically, you know, trying to get out of that slavery uh, hookup. You know what I'm saying? Which were still slaves to this very day. That was kind of a, you know, just them being fooled by Esau Edom, the so-called white man, you know. The scripture says never to trust thine enemy because as soon as Jake done that and helped them win, yeah, they, they you know, they went right back to being niggas, man. And it's going to be the same way. If there was a second civil war and you Negroes got into it, except for this time, Esau, man, going to really get down on y'all. Now, don't get me wrong. Jake going to get down, too. But Esau, hey, man, Esau hey, is in control of that sword, man. The Lord bless him with that sword. Salakia, which is that modern day gun. And they had plenty of arsenal, man. They had plenty of ammunition. They had plenty of they got shit that Jake we don't even think about. Then we ain't going to even talk about, you know, the U.S. military. Esau's military, man. They got drones. You know, they got the, you know, Black Hawk helicopters. They got their fighter jets. They got damn Navy ships. They got, see, Jake just got a couple of guns in the hood. Jake might be able to go on YouTube or something like that. Got a little YouTube channel. And, and you know, you got gun collectors. They, you know, Jake likes certain types of shotguns, certain type of long rifles, certain types of, um, you know, Glocks, certain types of, you know, but man, Esau, man, motherfuckers got grenades buried somewhere. Rocket launchers and shit, <laughs> you know, old war shit, mines and shit, you know. Esau got some shit, man. So it, when a straight comes down to a civil war, and you know it's going to be martial law if that goes down, you know, it's going to be a complete lockdown. Who you think is going to be fair and better? Now, you got these Edomites out here that's just stupid as hell, these damn liberals. That just love all all manner of wickedness. Or they don't care about nothing except for who's gonna give them the freedom to, to be wicked as hell. That's all they care about. And like I said again, you got the other Edomites, you got the other side of the Edomites, the other division. That's like, you know, that just in their Levi's and boat shoes. You know them Levi's that be flooding motherfuckers and had them bitches for, you know, 20 plus years. They didn't have them since they was in high school, carried them on to college. You know, still got that old ass sweatshirt from, from college. <laughs> hey, that's how Esau get down, but they'll be sitting on plenty of money. That's why you see them, man, they be looking corny as hell. Esau be in a Benz, a, beam, a Beamer or something. You be looking like, ah, damn, this corny motherfucker got, you know, he don't have no type of swag. He don't have no type of um, salt. But he's, but, but he, he hey, <laughs> motherfucker is well off. And Jake is in the hood, you know, just struggling. But see, even a lot of the Edomites, man, them fell off, man. You know, from that, that level of living. So the whole thing is crashing and burning right before our very eyes, man. And, and those wars, rumors of wars, part of it is civil war. Sedition of men. Matter of fact, let's get, um... Let's go into the Apocrypha real quick. Um... 
2nd Ezra's chapter 15. Let's start at verse 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the swore and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. And that's coming, man. It says, For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their action shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. Look, man, all these things are coming down the, down the pipe right now. This is why it's so important to repent. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, come under the banner of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. See, the Lord is doing this. The Lord is stirring up the, the hearts of these people. It's the Lord. So you got Christianity, they, they, they be praying, you know, talking about, uh, you know, <laughs> God bless America. Man, look, the Lord is not blessing this wicked ass place, man. The Lord is stirring up the pot. He's stirring up everybody. And it's for his children. It's for the, his inheritance. See, Esau has the children of Israel in their, in their um, um, possession. And they shouldn't. That's like, you know, going to... Going to let's use the illustration of, of, of you know, Debo in Friday. Hey, Debo, you know what I'm saying? Even though he got fucked up at the end of the movie, I'm saying from an aspect of, you know, when you looking at Debo from the beginning of the movie, hey, hey, nobody was fucking with Debo. You weren't going. Well, you did have a scene where a uh, homeboy, <laughs> you know, broke into the um, the house and, and, and went in his pockets and was trying to get that little change or whatever. But I'm just talking about from an aspect of, I guess that's not a, a really good example, but you have a situation where you're dealing with the baddest dude on, on the block. It's a woman, man. You, you, you know, you, you, you've broken into his house. You've taken his things. You've taken his, 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 the things that he's passionate about. You know, you've taken the things that he's passionate about. And then you, you fronting as if you're him. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you done taken on his identity. You know, it's like you done broke into the house. You done stole everything. You just in his house. He's the baddest dude on the block. But now all of a sudden you in his house with his woman. You know, you got his children. You done taken on his identity. You driving his car and shit. You know what I'm saying? You whipping out of the garage in his Lambo. And you don't think he going to get at you? You know? You don't think that he going to get at you? See, the Lord, he's just waiting on that precise time, man. And he's setting you up for, for beautifully. See, Esau is being set up so beautifully, they don't even get it. They don't understand. Esau has no idea what's coming to him, man. He thinks that the Lord is on his side. The scriptures actually talks about that. This man really believes that the Lord is on his side. You know, you, you heard him talking about manifest destiny. But look. It's a lock here. Yeah. The brothers, man, getting it in right now. See all those lessons going up. See, those are all prayers, all sacri of you know, um, the brothers setting up altars all over the world and sending up um, um, praises, and, and and the brothers are prophesying against Esau, man. This place is is through. This place is falling. So it's high time to awake out of sleep, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You gotta wake the fuck up and get out of this man's way. Let him go ahead and run into that that burning house, man. You gonna run in with him? You a fool. You gonna help this man fight for some shit he stole? You gonna help this man fight against the biggest, the biggest, um, um, the baddest guy on the block? You don't want no parts of that, man. You, 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 y'all need to step away, man. Y'all need to step off, man. I'm telling you, cause let Esau get what's coming to him on his own. Y'all joining this military? You know? You out here, you, you, you gonna be fighting against the Lord when he comes? You gonna join this man to help? Fight against the, the, the father that caused you his, you know, that gave you everything. You out of your mind, man. Anyway, let's get that uh, 18 back again. It says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and many shall be afraid. A man shall have pity, have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. And that's coming, man. Because when it's, if a civil war break out, what do you think is going to happen? It ain't gonna be, you ain't, you're not going to, to, to Walmart. Walmart's not opening up. Target is not opening up. 
your local supermarket, those shits is gonna be ramshack. If anything, you might find a uh, some bullshit on the ground, you know, that's been stepped all on. You not and nobody's showing up for that. So once the food gets scarce, <laughs> cause it ain't gonna take no time. That's the first. That's the very first thing. See, Jake, a lot of Jake, they are not gonna be even in the fight. They gonna be out here robbing and looting and stealing shit that that that's not gonna make no difference. You know, they're gonna go and take all the little. They gonna first off, they gonna they going to get all the Newports and any other cigarette that a nigga would smoke. You know what I'm saying? But they gonna get the the shit that niggas get or into first. They gonna get the Newports. They gonna get all the damn liquor. You know. They gonna even be grabbing scratch off cars and shit like that, even though they ain't gonna be no damn lottery no more. They gonna be thinking that things are gonna go back online. See? They gonna grab up all the 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 the, the little canned goods. It's gonna come down to nothing. It's gonna come down to nothing, man. And then what you gonna do? What you gonna do then? It says a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. But shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and for great tribulation. Why you think it's going to be lack of bread? Because shit going to be ransacked. And you know, in America, it don't take that long for um, shit to run out like that. Because these grocery stores, they don't keep no stock stock like that. And then if Jake fucking around to find out where a warehouse is at, they're going to hit them up too. And then the so-called white man, he's going to be fighting for it too. And then it's going to come to a point where, you know, hey, <laughs> You're going to be choosing which baby you're going to cook today. Things about to get real nasty out here, man. Things are about to get real fucking rough. And, and something like this could be the very jump start to that shit, man. You just never know, man. You never know. He saw trying to, he trying, he want to, this motherfucker, he, that could be the very jump off to them implementing that, that MOTB, that market of beauty and the beast. Because if all chaos break out, break out, there's going to be a lot of hungry ass people. And then all they got to do is say, well, hey, come on down here. We got to register you. If you want something to eat, we got food. We're going to be rationing the food out, you know, um, but you have to have your ID. And the new ID is, you know what? Some shit that they're going to try and put under your skin. Now, that's just me speaking as a man. We don't know how it's going to happen. We don't know how it's going to pop off. But these things are in the making. And they want a civil war to go down. They want. Um, 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 the, the, the people to, you know, they want to, look, they're going to cause this chaos so they can be the ones to say, hey, we got the solution. The solution going to be total control. Total control. You let these people, come on, man. Let these people not put Trump on the ballot in, 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 in just one of these states and see how that shit turn out. <laughs> just, 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 I'm telling you, man. You got to keep in mind who you're dealing with. You're dealing with Esau Edom, the hunter, the cunning hunter at that. He's he's on a prowl right now. He's ready. Hey, a, we talking about a hunter. Think about a hunter that's, 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 it's, it's going to come to a point of him not being able to catch nothing. He gets desperate, man. He's hungry. He's starving to death. Anything goes in, you know? So, hey, keep your head on the swivel out here. The scripture says to be circumspect. Let's get that. Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. See? Don't be no goddamn fool out here. You better be, be circumspect. You need to be watching. That's the reason why we do these lessons. That's the reason why we do these videos. You know? We do these videos so our people can see what's going on you know you got to see what's going on man you got to pay attention yourself because there's good you know i mean we all able to get 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 these lessons right now you know and, and there's going to come a famine of the world soon too as well because you never know man you just see they just had a um somewhat of a a little altercation i can't think of what country that was dang what country was that Ah, I can't think what country it was. wasn't even that long ago, neither. But they ended up turning off the internet. They ended up turning off the internet so that the people couldn't communicate to get the, because they were, oh, damn, what country was that? I can't remember exactly what they had going on, but they was rioting and shit like that. But they were using the internet to, you know, of course, to, you know, 
communicate, meet up, um, um, get their next plan going, and, and whatever, whatever. So the, the government ended up shutting off their internet. So they couldn't communicate. Can you imagine that in America? Your internet is just through. Your phone not working no more. There is no, no Facebook. There is no Instagram, no WhatsApp, no none of that shit. No TikTok. People are just going to be wondering what the fuck going on with their family. I wonder where they are. I wonder if they're okay. I haven't heard from them in three days. <laughs> you know? Hey, shit about to get real, real nasty out here, man. Y'all better wake the hell up. So, you know, like I said again, I just wanted to touch on that, man. I pray that this lesson was edifying. Call me a shoulder.